my name is Yas and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three new DIYs that I made. I use Dollar Tree items for make these DIYs and things that I already have at home. They turn out so beautiful and extremely budget friendly. Guys, all the things that I'm going to be using in this video, like tools, garlands, my Cricut Joy, all the links are going to be in the description box of this video. And you can also find the link of my Amazon favorites as well as all my social media pages. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel and guys make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video hope that you like this one and let's get started for the first project I will be using two of these mini wood crates that I bought in Michaels for only one dollar I think I don't remember it was a long time ago but Dollar Tree has some very similar ones so you can try to find them there and the first thing I'm going to be doing is to paint them and for that I'm going to be using my Reveille shock paint in white color I give it one coat of paint and once they were dry I give it another coat for better coverage. Guys, you're going to need your crates have two holes in the top part and you can do them using a Dremel or a drill. And then I'm going to be putting some of my E6000 glue and hot glue inside of the holes. From there, I'm going to be using the chains that bring this Dollar Tree plant hanger. I'm going to cut two pieces and I'm going to insert each end of the chain into the holes that you need to have in each of the crates. From there, guys, you can decorate your crate as you like. And I decide to put a little bit of Spanish moss inside of the crates and then a little bit of greenery or you can also put flowers to give it pops of colors depending on what you like for your home decor. Once you finish, you can put it to hang and I love how it looks. And I decided to put mine hanging from this beautiful decor that I made a long time ago using Dollar Tree supplies. And in the description box, I'm going to be leaving you the link of this DIY video just in case that you are interested in seeing it. For this second project, I'm going to use four Dollar Tree canvas. These ones are eight by 10 inches, but you can make the same project as I'm going to be doing in the size that you prefer. And the first step will be to remove the canvas fabric from the wood frame using my tweezers. And I will do the same with all of the four canvas that I have. Then I'm going to be painting the wood frames using a dark walnut wood stain and then let them dry very well. Once all the wood frames are dry, I will take the canvas fabric and I will cut the folded edges that they have because I need that each one of the canvas fabrics measure 8 by 10 inches. To cut as straight as possible, I'm going to be using this paper trimmer um, and in the description box, I leave you the link of where you can get these if you like it um, because it really works amazing. So. 
The link is in the description box. After cutting all the canvas fabrics of the size that I need, I'm going to place them in the back of the wood frames and I will use my stapler to staple the canvas fabric in each of the four frames. Um, and you can also find guys a link of this stapler in the description box because so many people ask me about this stapler. So yeah, the link is in the description box as well. Now you can print an image from the internet that you like or maybe you can draw it yourself but I'm going to be using my Cricut and I select four images of some flowers that I like and that I want to put on my canvas. I will be drawing them in a craft smooth cardstock that I bought at Walmart and with my paper trimmer I'm going to cut the size that I need. Then I'm going to put that cardstock in a cutting mat and my Cricut Joy is going to start drawing the flower that I want. I'm going to be making four different flowers and I'm going to draw each one in a different cardstock. Guys, you know that I love Cricut and this Cricut Joy works amazing for many projects. So I'm going to be leaving you the link of this Cricut Joy in the description box um, of where you can get it. Once finished, I cut each one of the cardstocks again with my paper trimmer about 5 by 7 inches. From there, I just have to stick each one in the center of each of the canvas with hot glue. It is super easy and simple to do. Guys, in order to hang this canvas on the wall, you can put a tooth hanger on the back side or maybe you can put a piece of twine with hot glue. The last project, it is super simple. I decide to make a small wreath and I'm going to use this eucalyptus garland that I bought from Amazon and I just love it. They are six inches long and they come to in a package and of course, I left a link in the description box. And I'm going to be removing just what I need from this garland and I'm going to stick them in a small wreath that I have at home with hot glue. You can use a Dollar Tree wreath if you like. This one is a little bit smaller that I get from a thrift store but it's going to work amazing with this product and you can use this garland and do a wreath in many ways guys and I just really like doing it like this but if you have any recommendations you can let me know in the comments. You can also add a bow if you want or maybe flowers just to give it a pop of color. I made mine quite simple and I just placed it in the center of my wall decor with all the canvas that we made in the previous project and that's it guys. I love how it looks. This is how all my projects look together and I'm so happy i love how they look and they are very on a budget using things from dollar tree and things that i already have at home and i just hope that you like this video and that inspires you to be creative if you like it please give me a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel let me know in the comments which project was your favorite make sure that you are subscribed and that you share this video with friends and family remember to follow me on my social media pages instagram facebook pinterest and my webpage DIYbyjazz.com. All the links are going to be in the description box of that video. And see you on my next video. Bye, guys.